Welcome back. Our drawing is very close to being completed. We need to just add a few um, details to the windows and doors. And this is going to be, we're, again, we're annotating our drawing and getting it ready to turn in and also making it a complete floor plan. So we need to have identifiers for all of our windows and doors, and we call those window and door tags. The very beginning of this is easy. And then we're going to go and take a look at our door schedules. We'll click on this very soon. So underneath annotate, we go to tag all, and we don't want to tag everything. We want to tag the door tags. We want to do the window tags, and we want to make sure that the leader is not checked. Okay. Um, we are looking for a horizontal placement is fine, and we click apply. As soon as we did that, you're going to see that these tags all came into the drawing. Okay, and the, the tags have numbers on them. We're not going to worry about them right now. They are not, 18 is not the number we want. But what you will notice is that the doors and the numbers, we're going to have to go back and fit, fix these. We like letters for doors and numbers for windows. So I'm going to click, double click on here. And we're not even going to worry about that. But what we do con concerned about is we want to get these tags out of the way. This tag is placed perfectly. So these are all placed really well. Okay. These are not placed so well. We are going to move these tags for clarity. So I'm going to go in by every single one. And we're just going to move them just inside so that we can see that. This one looks good. This one here is very hard to see. Again, we're going to turn our thick lines off and we're just going to move this inside here. I know these numbers are not perfect, but we're going to get these to be perfect very soon. All right. Got a couple other here. Move this inside just for clarity. Definitely on the outside where the windows are, we're going to move those in just a little bit. Even if I had to move my dimension over just a little bit, that would be fine. Okay, move these, and I'm going to have you do that. Okay, you should pause and go move yours. And um, once you have most of them moved, then I will give you some more instructions. Okay, I'm assuming that you've moved all of yours. I just wanted to bring something to your attention that when you go to move these, they will snap and align with other ones. And we want them to be lined up. I left a couple down here for me to get. I want all of these to be on the same in the same spot. So I'm going to move that up and I'm going to move this one up and I'm going to move this one up as well. Notice that these are all 18s because they're the same window. Okay. And notice also that this is a pentagon for the 18 and these are circles. So the pentagons are representing windows. The circles represent doors. All right. At this point, I'm going to go click on my door schedule and um, I have some doors in here. And it's letters for windows, numbers for doors. And I'm going to rename these like this. And you may get a, we're going to not have these be as 37s. And whatever I do here, I want that to be a three and this to be a four. Okay. And then the next thing I want to do is I want to edit my schedule. I want the mark, the count, and I want this to say family and type. So I'm going to remove family. By clicking on fields right here, I'm going to take family and move it out and take family and type and move it in. And I'm also going to move this back up. So it says mark, count, family, type, manufacturer, and then click OK. Now everything has gone away. No big deal. We're going to go back into here to sorting and grouping. And we're going to tell to sort and group these by family and type. We're going to click OK. And now they've all come back. We can move this. We look at all of them. One, two, three, four. Tells me how many of these I have. And now we could turn this into a Home Depot or somewhere else and tell everything what we need. And then this is seven foot eight. All of them are the correct head height. Even though we know it's six foot eight, those should be at seven foot eight. All right. We're going to go to the window schedule and we're going to do something very similar. We see nothing in here. The first thing that we're going to do is get rid of family. So we're going to go to fields, tell family to go away, go to family and type and bring it in. 
and you can bring any of these fields in if you needed, what level they're on. Right now, we only have one level. We're going to move that up. We're going to click OK. We still don't see anything. We want to sort them by family and type. Click OK. They came in. We only have two different windows, but this one is somehow marked B. In 18, we want that to be marked B. Oh, it's actually numbers for windows, letters for doors. So this would be a B. Put that in there. Those are all going to change now. I go back to my drawing, take a look. All of my tags have been changed. I've got letters for the windows, numbers for the doors. Everything looks match, matched up and clean. They're not 31s, 32s. They've all been same. Make sure that they're all look clean in there and you are good to go. You have now tagged everything in your drawing and prepared your schedules. Congratulations.